So recently, Asus just released the Tough Gaming A15 laptops. These are all AMD based and they perform great. But for the starting price of 3000 something ringgit, you only get 8 gigs of RAM. And for us, that's not really sufficient. And many of you might have opted in for the 8 gigs version because of its price. And then just realize that 8 gigs is not enough. And hence, that is why you're watching this video to upgrade the RAM. Because we are going all out this time around and Kingston just sent us this 32 gigs kit of RAM, 16 each. And today we're going to show you how you can upgrade your Tough Gaming A15 with these Kingston RAMs that we have here. So the first thing that we're going to do is of course get a base core. And which is why we're going to just put it up, plug in the power, which is conveniently on my left side. Why not, right? And then we are going to do two tests. The first one is Cinebench and then the second one is Premiere Pro Render Time. So first off, we're going to go for Cinebench R20 and let me just... Okay, so now we got Cinebench R20 up and running and we shall look at the scores when we hit run. Okay, so Cinebench R20 multi-core performance is done. It scored 4199 and remember this is with the 8 gigs of included RAM and now we'll be running Premiere Pro instead. So this video will be very simple. It's a 3 minute video, straight up render of 4K 60fps and output of 4K 60fps to MP4 which is H.264. So I got my handy timer app here. And then this is all preset already, so we'll just hit export in one, two, three. Okay, so we have a bit of time left, so I'm just going to explain when we are going to stop the timer, which is when this rendering menu goes away. So three, two, one, a bit more, and done. So it takes 6 minutes 47 seconds, I will just consider that tiny little millisecond to be the next second anyway, since it's 59. And that is to render a 4K 60fps video directly out to H.264 4K 60fps as well. So now what we're going to do next is to shut down this entire laptop and then we'll proceed to the RAM upgrading which is the funnest part of all. Is there even a word funnest? Anyway, I'm just gonna shut it down, pull this out and leave that aside for now. McAfee, please go away. I just want to shut you down. Okay, so it's very important before you upgrade to see what type of screws that this laptop has. From what we can see here, it's a very standard Philips screw. Uh, it's a Philips size 1, at least in this Bosch screwdriver kit. Hashtag not sponsored, but I do love this screwdriver set a lot. So we just leave that aside and then we'll take out all of the screws here we have 4, 3, uh, 7, 11 screws. Okay, so now we got the back panel removed. It's just a couple of clips, but please go slow. And if you have a prying tool, use a plastic one and slowly go around the entire laptop itself. Also, you might have realized that I placed the screws in this kind of position because I want to mimic which screws goes into which slot which is why I just mimic all of the position but enlarge. Anyway, this laptop comes with two RAM slots here. You can see there's a built-in 8 gigs of RAM, not built-in but it's just pre-included. And then there's another empty slot here. So how you can take out the existing RAM is to pull out these two tabs and then the RAM will pop up by itself at an angle. So just pull out according to the angle and there you have it, the Kingston RAMs. These are two 666 MHz each, 16 gigs, and I'm just going to pop them in real fast because RAMs are interchangeable, at least for this situation, and it's really fast to just upgrade your RAM. I'm just gonna take open one of the RAM. So how to install a RAM is also very simple. Just make sure that the notch is aligned, push it in at an angle about 30 degrees, and then push it down. You can see that the notches here, these two tabs will lock into the RAM and yeah, it's secure. So now onwards to the second Sodium RAM. So we'll do the same, just look at the notch, 
I can't see. And then push it down. Satisfying click. And now we can close the back panel back. But I recommend you not to screw everything back in first, just to make sure everything works. Okay, so now for the moment of truth. I'm just going to show you guys instead because this is the moment of truth. Press the power button and you see what happens. And there you go, the ASUS logo. That means it is compatible, you can boot up. And now we'll wait for it to go into Windows, which will take a while. Now, to verify that all the RAM is upgraded, we'll just head on to Task Manager and check it out. So now, Cinebench R20 with 32 gigs of Kingston RAM, 2666 MHz. In 3, 2, 1, go. And it's done. So the score right here is 4216. It's a slight improvement over the existing 8 gigs of RAM that came with it. And that's a good explanation because this RAM is slightly faster in speed, but it's only working in a single channel of 8 gigs of RAM. And now we've upgraded to dual channel with a slightly slower speed, 2666 MHz, but you do get a lot more RAM. And that's especially useful for Chrome users like you and me. Maybe not you, but me definitely. And we'll press 3, 2, 1, go. And we still got a few more seconds to wait. 3, 2, 1, and when the whole thing goes away, I'll stop. Okay, so there's a significant down in terms of time taken. Uh, this is taking 6 minutes and 14 seconds with the 32 gigs of RAM, 266 megahertz. And I'm impressed because Imagine this, I'm upgrading from a single channel 8 gigs of RAM with higher speeds to a slower RAM but I get much more capacity 4 times from 8 gigs to 32 gigs and I'm using a slightly slower 2666 MHz and I still get to shave off like about what 30 seconds off of this 4K 60fps video. Remember, this is only a 3 minute video. Imagine if you have a much longer sequence, for example, let's just say 10 minute video that will shave you off a lot of time. So yeah, I would say you don't have to get 32 gigs of RAM. Of course, this is just because we can flex on you, I guess. <laughs> There's also other options available. So you can get double 8 gigs of RAM. So you total out 16 gigs, which I think it's really sufficient for most of you out there, including gamers and maybe just some video editing, some lighter weight video editing. But for me personally, since I always use a lot of Chrome tabs alongside with Premiere Pro because I need to find my resources while editing the video, 32 gigs is perfect. So each of this kit right here from Kingston, 2666 MHz, it costs about 300 ringgit. And since we got two of them, this upgrade costs about 600 ringgit. And it improved our workflow much faster. And so yeah, that's it. That's how you can upgrade the RAM on the brand new ASUS Tough Gaming A15. So if you have any questions, do leave your questions down in the comment section below. We'll try to help you whenever we can. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.